Hi guys, it's Tina here from Planet Saving Novice. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, the last video I actually did was back in May, um, which I, I never ended up posting it in the end. Um, basically, I came down to my usual place. Um, if you're a regular follower, you'll know that I regularly come to Alfreton Woods in Derbyshire. Uh, that's in the UK if anyone's not familiar. Um, and when I came on that occasion, I was doing a bit of a litter pick and I thought I'd come down and see the river and it was polluted and I think I got a bit demoralised um, and reassessed a few things. Um, so I've not made a video since then. So now it's the 2nd of September and I've been reignited to come back down and have a look. So I'm in my usual place in Alperton. Um, those that do follow me I'm just right down by where the waterfall is and I've just noticed down there is a massive metal structure I don't think the GoPro will be picking it up um, and when I came back in May there was a bike discarded down there and all the water was was white I don't know what it was but it was bright white um, and there was a bike down there and I just I just wasn't prepared to get in the water and drag it out. Um, after that visit in May, I did um, report the pollution to Seven Trent Water um, and I, I don't know what they've done with it, they don't update you, but um, I certainly reported it anyway and gave all the various locations. Um, I'll try and post that video. Uh, I've just just a bit demoralized from it but I'll, I'll post it anyway but let's go and have a look at this metal structure it's a shopping trolley it looks like the bike has gone though someone else must have dragged that out yeah shopping trolley looks like Tesco's which would make sense as Tesco's isn't far away it's a long way to bring a shopping trolley though I have to go to a lot of effort for that. We've previously cleaned up all down there. I'm not really sure what my aim is for today's video. Last time, well not last time, one of the first times that I was here, um, the, the first time I came and did a litter pick in the river, there was an old tape recorder there and um, and I found a, lo a load of old uh, cables, um, phone chargers and I was hoping to find some more electronics if I'm honest um, e-waste that I could take out of the environment and do something with, recycle in some way um, so that's, I think that's what my aim is for today but generally I'm just having a bit of a look round this looks like a coat, a dog coat even. All right, well, I'm just gonna have a wander. I'm not doing any litter picks unless it is e-waste. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll just see how I get on today. Might not be amazing content, but we'll, we'll see. There's another shopping trolley over here. Somebody's had a whale of a time. I haven't actually um, come down this way yet in my series. Um, oh, smells of it. Some sort of mask. Um, yeah, I've not made it this far yet. looks pretty standard to the rest of the river to be honest uh, just not pleasant for anyone who's not watched before I'm right by the A38 which is all, what all that traffic is uh, oh I get out of here it stinks so I decided to walk down this path behind me the, the tree
trolley that we just saw is up that way and I've not walked down this path before um, and I thought I'll, I'll come and try it because this is all housing estate back here and what's interesting is that there's all these little paths that, that looks like a proper path but I'll just show you this one that's a house housing estate there and you've got this little path it looks like and I just looked over and there is I don't think you'll be able to see it but there's a black uh, tank if you like of what does it say all I can make out is the word cor corrosive on it so that's nice But I just, uh, oh, it, it all stinks down here, just like drain or whatever it is. So I've just had a little peek down there and somebody's thrown in, I don't really know what it is, like a, looks like a small roof box in a way. Uh, is it a motorcycle box? That could be interested. <laughs> Go see if that's got anything in it, but I'm not equipped today. I haven't got any wellies or anything. This is a culvert that I had previously tried to locate and for any of my regular followers is most likely the one where I got sucked in to the mud and I thought I might die. I mean, now there's a bit extreme, but it did cross my mind at the time. So anyway, that's interesting down there, little motorcycle box. I've not found any e-waste, but it's just good to explore really, find what else there is. Does anyone remember seeing that high-vis jacket dangling from a tree that time? I found it. I also found this as well. Another pipe. The water level's really low at the minute because it's been the, the driest year on record or something like that. Um, we've, we've not had a proper spout of rain for a long time. So it's been quite good um, to see it so low and just how much stuff's at, at the bottom. And I've got to say, further down here, you know, with the exception of this and some bits that you know, up on the verge. It's really not been too bad. The worst of it has been the trolley areas upstream. The apple tree. Very nice. Would you eat them so close to the road? Kind of puts me off a little bit with so much traffic, but nice to see. I think this might be the end of the line for this stretch. It's gone a bit man-made. Well, obviously, obvious man-made. I'm sure all of it's had some input. And then it's leading me up with some steps here to a football pitch. And the river's going off down there. So I'm going to make my way back and try in a different area. Find another dumped trolley. That's three today, it's definitely a record. I mean, like, um, oh god, mega overgrown territory here. I'm on the verge of going home now. Um, an ancient, ancient bicycle has been here for some time. But well, you can see that there's been like evidence of dumped televisions and stuff so and this is going back towards housing now so if you've got something heavy you don't really want to carry it very far so um oh i think i'm gonna have to wait till um the vegetation's died down a bit uh, and there's some gas canisters knocking around in this area as well which i want to collect um again needing the vegetation to die down 
Um, so I'll certainly come back here and do this same sort of mission again. I'm going to see if I can just get over there. I'm going to get a bit stuck, I think, though. I don't know what I was thinking. It's far too overgrown. I'm going to get stuck. Whoa. I might come back for that bike another day. Oh, scrap metal. Wow. Stuck again. And I'm going to see if Tesco have, like, some sort of trolley recovery team. <laughs> Where did I come from? Um, I doubt that they get that practically buried, but... I'll ask, I'll ask, I'll find out. Right, I'm going to head home now. It's actually started to rain for the first time in ages. Would you believe it? On the first time in ages that I'm making a video. Oh, it's Thomas. We've seen Thomas before. I have no bearing where I am in relation to seeing Thomas last time. It's very creepy. As I've touched it, I'll bin it. I did collect the, the orange hives and the two bottles that were floating in the water. I couldn't resist it. And this is the area where I, not necessarily this side, because this side's a ship tip, but around this side is where I was litter picking in May. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Guys, I just, um, found this website, it's also available as an app called Trolleywise, where you can log where abandoned trolleys are. So I thought I would do that, praying that they are still there, um, otherwise someone's got a wasted trip. Um, so here we go, country K, okay. what three word location? I didn't take this at the time, but I know the area well enough to know an approximate, so it's Rots. Deal. Roses. And if you don't know what what three words is, basically someone has divided the world up into one meter square. I think it's one meter square areas, and each square area has got three words allocated to it. So. It's pretty accurate um, if you're lost or anything like that. So um, it's a great app to have. Don't have a photo. And I'm not in a position to just edit my videos right now. I'm only reporting the two at the minute because I don't know the what three word location for the one that was partially buried in the woods. So I shall submit that. And there we go, and we're back at the beginning again. So if you find any abandoned trolleys and you want to do something about it, you can go to Trolleywise. Um, and that is wanzel.com, just be totally confusing, or you can download the Trolleywise app. Alright guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.